first this noontime 38 studios inside the scandal a court hearing today on the release of legal documents and defendants attempts to keep some information confidential. We first told you about this on WPRI.com. Wells Fargo Bank among those trying to stop the release of some details. Target 12 investigator Tim White was inside that hearing and has the very latest now on the judge's ruling from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Tim. Brian, moments ago, Judge Michael Silverstein ruled in favor of transparency, rejecting the argument from defendant Wells Fargo that some names should be blacked out from the documents set to be released. Ready. Late Monday, two motions were filed seeking to keep certain information from the 38 Studios case under wraps. One of the objections from Wells Fargo, which is being sued by the state. Wells Fargo asking to redact or black out 215 words from the tens of thousands of pages on the verge of being made public. They say they are all names, including of clients, unrelated to 38 Studios. We don't think the public has any uh, right to this particular information because it has nothing to do with this case. The state pushed back, saying these names are already public elsewhere, including in financial filings with the government. Ask the court to grant a protective order in a case of such strong public interest as this on the basis that the information may or may not be public information already. How does my brother even presume to ask the court that question? Late last month, Judge Michael Silverstein ordered the release of documents from the 38 Studios lawsuit. During the hearing, Silverstein admonished attorneys for bickering with each other during their arguments. Stop it. Now you may address the facts. On Friday, round two, the judge will consider an objection from game maker Electronic Arts. They're looking to have some financial information withheld from that documentation. Right now, I want to bring in WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi. He was in the courtroom with me. Ted, I think what everybody wants to know here, bottom line, what does today mean for the release, the timing of the release of the documents? We asked that question to the court clerk as we were all the reporters were leaving today, and it looks like next week is likely when we will get these tens of thousands of pages of documents. There is a possibility that it could come out perhaps as soon as late this week, but it sounds like the amount of documentation that still needs to be fully compiled, gotten from the lawyers, uploaded to a website where the public will be able to view it, will probably push us into next week. And a lot of that documentation we're anticipating is depositions. Now, we weren't always sure, right, that we were going to get all of those depositions, but walking out of the courtroom today, sounds like we are. Right, and that's a really important point, Tim, because, uh, you know, getting just what the lawyers chose to see out of 38 Studios, it's one thing for them to decide information is helpful to the lawsuit. It's another thing for the information to be helpful to the public in understanding how this deal came together. So getting all those depositions, seeing the questions asked, all the answers from all these prominent people, Don Kachiri, Lincoln Chafee, Gordon Fox, that could shed a lot of new light on all how this all came together. We know that 20,000 pages have been scanned in so far. The clerk is telling us I could double 40,000 pages with the depositions. What are you expecting? Do you, do you anticipate to know the full story of what happened in the deal? That's, you know, of course, we can't know until we see the documents what's going to be in them. I do think, you know, it's important that people remember this was not an investigation into how 38 Studios happened exactly. This was a lawsuit to get damages, and the lawyer's focus was on finding out information that would help them win their lawsuit. There could still be unanswered questions after we get this, uh, these documents, but I do think there's no doubt the public will know a lot more once these are out and sorted through than they do right now about how 38 Studios happened. Tens of thousands of pages on the verge of getting released. Eyewitness News has a team ready to review that documentation, so make sure you stick with us when that happens. For now, Brian, back to you in the studio. Tim and Ted, our thanks to you. Our coverage getting inside the scandal of 38 Studios just beginning. As Tim just said, the Target 12 investigators team standing by, and they'll be combing through the documents as soon as they are released. Until then, we'll be bringing you every development, every step of the way on air and also online at WPRI.com.